and we are back on the franchise for this Monday night matchup against the New England Patriots and we're already in week number seven as we take a quick look at the AFC standings you see the Jets in third place and who would have thought the Bills would be in first place after five games that's probably the biggest surprise in the division so far now we come into this one after a couple of low-key acquisitions and if you guys missed the last video you might want to check that one out first and then come back and watch this one just to make sure that you're all caught up but the biggest acquisition by far is the return of Teddy Bridgewater at quarterback and we're going to get a chance to see him first as the Jets have won the toss and elected to receive Le'Veon Bell gets the carry on the first play off the left side jukes a couple of defenders and he'll be brought down after a 15 yard pickup setting up first and 10 he then gets the toss on the next play and goes pretty much nowhere and that'll bring up second and 11 Bridgewater out of the gun looking for his first completion as a Jet gets it downfield to Anunwa and that'll set us up at the 42 yard line First and 10 now, Bridgewater escaping the pocket and hits a wide open Quincy Anunua again and that's going to move us down to the 25 yard line. Next play on first and 10, Le'Veon looking for running room up the middle, finds none. That brings up second and nine. Bridgewater staying aggressive, rifles it down the seam to Herndon and that's going to set us up with first and goal at the three. The Jets then spread the field going four wide. Teddy B looking for the end zone, finds Robbie Anderson on the slant and you really couldn't have scripted a better opening drive for Teddy Bridgewater there. He went four for four for 68 yards and a touchdown and on another note with the contract extension looming for Robbie Anderson if he continues to get separation like that in the end zone I may just have to reconsider that four-year 42 million dollar contract that he wants but I don't know I still want to see a little bit more out of him but getting into the Patriots first drive here to try to go to the ground attack on the first play with White he loses two yards second and 12 now Tom Brady from a clean pocket delivers a nice pass downfield to Julian Edelman and that'll be enough to move the chains next play going back to the ground game to White same result as the first time he goes nowhere on the play bringing up second and 11 they give it to him this time he picks up a couple more yards but gets drilled by Jamal Adams and now they're looking at third and seven now Brady after the play fake drops back and delivers a pass over the head of my user line Linebacker. Now, I was pressing Y that entire time to pick that off, and Williamson just stood there as the ball flew over his head for the completion. I really hate when that happens, but getting back to the drive as White makes a nifty spin move for some extra yardage on the carry, and that'll move the chains up to the 24. Brady from the gun now with excellent pass protection, dumps it underneath the pass is completed to Dorsett. Staying with the passing attack, Brady finds Watson for a nice 8-yard pickup, and now they'll have first and goal from the 6. Brady takes a snap out of the gun, drops back, rifles it to Edelman, but is picked off Avery Williamson has done it again this time picking off Brady at the goal line I think that's the interception number six on the season this man is playing out of his mind last game he was able to get two on Prescott and now he gets his first in the game on Brady I'm telling you guys somebody better get the word out about the predator lurking in coverage because he is making QBs pay now unfortunately we go three and out and give it right back to the Patriots on first and ten here Brady from the gun almost throws another interception Williamson read that perfectly and was able to bat it down bringing up second and ten they hand it off to White he jukes a defender slips another tackle and he is off to the races James White's gonna take it 80 yards to the house to tie this game up and you know what if that's the way that they have to score I'm not mad at it as long as we don't let Brady get going that's the only thing that matters to me but picking up our next drive on 2nd and 11, Anunra makes the grab on the comeback, setting up 1st and 10. Bridgewater looking to escape the pocket, throws on the run and throws an inaccurate pass. I probably should have held on to it and picked up some yardage on the ground. But we do that with Le'Veon Bell and he's going to take the handoff from Bridgewater and pick up 16. A couple plays later on 2nd and 10, Bridgewater standing tall in the pocket, finds Crowder across the middle. He's going to take it up to about the 30 yard line but unfortunately the drive stalls and we're forced to settle for 3. Now the Patriots start their next drive at their own 25. Brady with the RPO goes quick to Thomas and he'll pick up one on the play, bringing up second and nine. Out of the gun now, the handoff goes to James White. He slips a tackler, but Avery Williamson is right there to clean up the play, bringing up third and 10 now. Out of the gun, once again, Brady drops all the way back and is gonna be sacked by Jordan Jenkins on the play. Who is this guy and where has he been all season long? Working against Marcus Cannon on this play, he's able to use his athleticism and blow right by him to get to Tom Brady for the sack. That was a really nice play. We're going to need a lot more like that from him if we're going to be successful this season. And the exact same can be said for Le'Veon Bell as he picks up 9 on this play, bringing up 2nd and 1. Bridgewater then takes the snap from center and fires it quick to Tomlinson and he's going to be a little short on the play, bringing up 3rd and inches. Then Bridgewater calls his own number and picks up the 1st. So now we go back to the ground attack with Le'Veon Bell weaving his way through traffic and he'll be brought Brought down after a pickup of nine, setting up second and one now. Bridgewater with the play fake, taking a shot to the end zone to Anderson, but the pass is batted down at the last second. 
I kind of want more of an effort out of Anderson there. I kind of want him to go up and get that. But after the incompletion, we're now looking at third and one. Bridgewater tries to scramble for the first, but gets brought down behind the line, which sets up another field goal attempt. The kick is up and right through the uprights, and we extend our lead to six. But that's not going to cut it against Tom Brady. We have got to score touchdowns if we want a shot at this. But getting into the Patriots' next drive, Tom Brady goes into Tom Brady mode and finds Watson for a huge pickup. That brings up first and ten from the 39. Brady dropping back, surveying the field, and finds another receiver open near the sideline. This time the completions to Thomas, and now they have it at the 19. The Patriots then spread the field with three wide and one tight end. Brady from the gun dropping back, looking for the end zone, but the pass is going to be broken up and complete, and that's going to bring up second and ten from the 19. This time Brady on the run almost throws an interception. That should have been picked off by Brian Poole. But now the Patriots are looking at third and ten. Brady, with enough time in the pocket to read an article from the Boston Globe, finally throws it out of bounds because no one was open. So the defense does a good job at holding the Patriots to three on that drive. And as we go into the second half, things are starting to look a lot like they did the last time we played the Patriots. But getting into our first drive of the third quarter, Anunua makes the grab there at the 33-yard line, setting up first and ten. Then the inside zone play to Le'Veon Bell is going to pick up seven on the play, and that's going to bring up second and three. The Patriots then dial up some pressure, sitting the corner and linebacker, and Bridgewater finds Bell underneath, and that'll move the chains up to the 48. But then this happens. Le'Veon Bell is destroyed by Dante Hightower and ends up coughing up the ball. The Patriots recover it and have great field position to start their next drive. Then Brady comes out with the play action fake to White, looking to take a shot deep downfield in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Demarius Thomas comes down with it in the end zone. And you almost knew it would happen at some point. Tom was going to get going, and unfortunately for us, it doesn't stop there. On the second and two play, Brady throws a dart downfield that's completed to Edelman in stride, and that'll move him all the way up to the 33-yard line. Now, before you guys start killing me in the comments about how that was a horrible user, my responsibility on the play was James White, so Jamal Adams and his 86-man coverage let me down on that play. But it really doesn't matter at this point because Tom Brady is just playing out of his mind, finding open receivers all throughout my defense. And to make things even more interesting, he's now in the zone, but then they trolled me a little bit and handed it to White so he can punch it in for the score. Now, you know when they say when it rains, it pours, right? I'm down 24 to 13 here, trying to get my offense back in it, but Bridgewater suddenly can't complete a pass to save his life. Even when I throw the ball with perfect anticipation on this play, something happens with the wide receiver coming out of his break, then the pass falls incomplete. Then on third and 10, this happens. With the wide open man, the pass is thrown at least seven yards ahead of him, and it falls right into the hands of McCourty. And unfortunately, there really isn't much else I can show you in this video because we just got keistered. I mean, I probably shouldn't say that, but there's no other way to put it, man. We just got it handed to us in this one. The Patriots were able to rattle off, what is that, 24 unanswered points? That's just embarrassing at our home stadium. We have got to come out and do a better job in the next one. Now, the sliders are making the game play the way that I expected. I really thought I would come into the season and struggle, and I think that's what you guys have been seeing throughout the last couple of games. So there's now a real possibility that we'll be playing for a really high draft pick. So you guys might want to reel in those first year Super Bowl expectations because I've seen a couple of those down in the comment section. I don't think that's going to be happening this season, you guys. Also, we got the trade deadline approaching next week, and I am still considering a couple of moves, but like always, drop me a comment down below with anybody you think I should pick up, and they'll definitely be considered, but I am really thinking about moving out Robbie Anderson at this point. I'm sure I'll be able to get some decent draft picks for him, but we'll see how that goes in the next video. Anyways, you guys, that's all the time I've got for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm signing off, and I'll see you in the next one.